Okay, so I know it's been a while. Um, by a while, I think I mean about a month. If I'm being completely honest, I've just been having mental breakdown after mental breakdown after midlife crisis after mental breakdown. So, but obviously today I'm back. I've just not done anything for the past like month. And when I say that, I literally mean I've been sat on my bed playing Fortnite on my Switch. So today I thought I would just film a zero to 100 transformation kind of glow up video and hopefully I can, um, <laughs> I don't know, just feel a little bit better after this video. I think I might be going somewhere in a couple hours. Before we start this video, make sure you go ahead and give this a big thumbs up and subscribe and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Anyway, so let's talk about A-levels because I know, ooh, 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 I need to sip already. I've not spoken this long in ages. So I know a lot of you watching this video will probably have just had your A-level results if you are doing your A-levels, if you're not, then I don't know, just any other sort of result. From what I, I don't really know a whole lot about like what went on, but I know that Corona and this whole thing has really impacted it. I think at first a lot of people's A-level results this year were like really bad. Anyway, from what I've heard, I think the government have like done a U-turn. The grades that you got in your actual exams, you're now getting them for like what your teachers predicted you to be. Honestly, I know people are always going to be gutted about you know, if they got bad grade or if they didn't get the grades that they wanted or needed to get into uni or to wherever they want to be now. Honestly, you might end up somewhere better if you go through clearing and just go somewhere that you weren't expecting to be because my uni is a bit, you see the University of Salford is a bit like, Oop. if you didn't get what you needed, I wouldn't be too um, upset about it. Like your life isn't over just because you've not got the grades, honestly. I know people who dropped out of school and didn't go to college who now have their own place and are financially doing better than me so I literally don't even have a job right now. So. I don't like how I'm using that as like a quirk, that's not quirky at all, it's kind of dumb. Where it's just not working out, you know? Why did I put... Why have you just done that? <clears throat> oh my god. This is why I've not been filming recently. I've done my makeup wrong. I've done it wrong. I don't even care, I'm rubbing my eyes like this now. I'm getting really annoyed with myself. Give me a second because I need to calm down. I'm literally getting so triggered. I'm so... I apologise for that little intermission. Not even a, not, not really a mess, just like very stressed and overthinky recently. Mostly to do with an individual person, but I'm not gonna say any more than much because that would just be baiting myself out, would it? Positive vibes over here, just bit my tongue. I just bit my tongue as I said that. Anyway, what I was saying is, ladies, if you're stressing over a boy, this is so obvious that I'm saying this, if, you, if he's watching this, I'm so sorry, okay? What it is, is that my, my tolerance and my patience for people, is just, it's just going down and down and down. So TikTok was gonna be banned, right? In the US, I think. And it's currently not, they're like looking at different ways to go about, um, like, I guess, protecting the people on TikTok. But yeah, I swear, like, as soon as they broke the news about TikTok, Instagram were like, I'm going to introduce a new feature. And that feature is basically TikTok, but on Instagram. Like, I swear Instagram have literally just taken every single selling point of any other app and just brought it into one. Because it's owned by Facebook as well. So basically it's Facebook and then Instagram which have stories that were from Snapchat. Now Reels, which are TikTok. And like IGTV, which was like a YouTube kind of thing. Girl, do you wanna get some originality? I'm, I mean, I'm kind of here for it, honestly. The less apps that I have to use, the better. I feel like TikTok has become a very like weird place in some areas. The videos where there's like underage boys, um, grinding and like trying to talk or like 
you know, you know what I mean. Actually, you know what I've noticed about Instagram reels is that there are a lot of like negative comments that are made on people's reels. Like um, a girl I know, she yeah, she's just like started to do Instagram reels and on her, like pretty much all of her reels, there are so many like negative comments and it's just, I don't really understand. I don't really understand why there are like so many hate comments on reels. It's all, it's all like Karens and Davids being like, oh, you know, like, oh, it's so boring. Ugh. Literally who asked? Nobody asked. I don't get why people like have to be so negative all the time. Okay, I don't, I, my camera just cut off, but I don't know um, where it cut off. But basically I'm on about TikTok and they're like, I've been seeing a lot of videos about birds and a couple months ago or like probably like a month or two ago um, my bird called Titch, my budgie, who I'd had for I, I want to say in between six and nine years I don't know like exactly how long because you know the, the numbers six and nine look kind of they're the same, but one's upside down. Uh, we unfortunately lost him. He was just losing his balance and c couldn't eat, couldn't fly, um, was finding it really difficult to even like stand on his perch. Um, he kept like falling off his perch. And yeah, it's kind of sad because I've always like had the bird there. Like I've always come home from wherever I am and the bird's like there. We were gonna get another one, but my mum doesn't want another one. She was like, no, you're not getting another one. But yeah, I was getting a lot of videos on TikTok about like birds and like people's parrots talking. And don't get me wrong, I watch literally every animal video on TikTok. I, I will watch it. I won't skip any of them. Um, but it was just a bit weird, you know, like my budgie had just died. And then all of a sudden TikTok is showing me a bunch of birds. And I'm just like, thanks. <laughs> Anyway, what's this mail? I have mail. This can only be one thing because I've only ordered one thing recently. Um, so I'm not gonna show my address. Um, a brand that I have recently discovered because of Haz, or you might know her as, I don't know, I'm Haz, IDK, I'm Haz on YouTube. And if you don't know, again, get to know, because she seems cool. She did a collaboration with this lash brand who are vegan, cruelty-free, uh, mink free is all like faux um faux mink faux silk so there she is this is not um pr or anything i paid for this with my own money um i only bought one of um the lashes from her collection it's a girly lash and then i got two others oh there's a little sticker with a face on it look because it looks sticker oh <laughs> the reason that i've purchased from this brand is because they are Faux mink. Faux, can I speak? <laughs> the reason I've purchased from this brand is because they're faux mink and faux silk. Um, completely vegan, cruelty free, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Whereas the lashes that I usually wear, which are from, I'm not gonna lie, they're mink. Um, I didn't realise what they were until like a couple months after I bought them, I think, because I went on the website and it said mink. I didn't realise. This, so, this is so stupid, but when I first started wearing those lashes, I didn't realise that they were mink as in mink animal. I have made the transition to this other brand, TGH Lashes, go check them out on Instagram. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the rest of my makeup done um, and then, not get the rest of my makeup done, do the rest of my makeup and then come back and show you what I'm gonna do to my hair because, girl, I have found my, my, my curly goddess. My curly haired dream of a hairstyle. Let I'll see you in a minute. Okay, oh, I nearly just fell off my chair. Okay, so I've done most of my makeup now. My hair looks like a rat's nest. Today, I'm gonna be using the Beauty Works Professional Styler. The first couple of times I used it, I did pin curls. That is what I don't like, so I don't know why I did that. I'm pretty much just gonna use this and curl my hair and then just hold it for a little bit like not too long and then just let it drop. This side is gonna face away and this side is gonna face this way. Not that I might hit 3K this year, um, but I will hit 3K this year. So if you could please do me a favor and subscribe, um, I would really, really appreciate it. I'm trying so hard to get to 3K. 
Um, I pr I'm pretty certain I will hit it by the end of the year because we've got quite a bit of time left, but the sooner the better, please, please use heat protectant. Obviously, you have to, girl, you gotta protect your hair, even though I've literally been using heat on my hair every day. And I can't see in the viewfinder very well, but I want to show you, so praying to the gods that I don't burn my hair off. So I leave a little bit at the end because I don't want it to be like curly all the way. You just let it go. Um, you can't see this very well, just give me a second. You can see the curl here. Um, I'm gonna just basically just hold it there for a, for a little bit um, and then I'll just let it drop. I've held it for long enough so I'm just gonna let it drop. I'm not gonna brush it out yet, um, I will get to that at the end. So I'm gonna do the same with this side and then do the same here but facing the other way. Um, and I'll just let you watch and we'll get to it. So, here is what the hair looks like now. Obviously, I've not brushed out or anything. Um, I'm not gonna leave it like this, don't worry. I think I'm going to genuinely finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and tackle the hair, but I just wanna let it sit for a bit. So obviously, all that's changed, it's been about an hour and all that has changed is that I've put eyelashes on. Um, the lashes I used were the groovy ones from Haz's collection. These lashes are probably the ones that are the most similar to what I would usually wear. So yeah, they're pretty much, I want to say like almost exactly the same, except I think these ones are a bit more like wispy. So I've not done my lips because I'm going to put gloss on and I don't want my hair to get in the gloss. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this Bedhead by TGI. Um, after party soothing cream soothing cream basically what this will do is give you the literally the softest hair i can't and it'll add a bit of shine as well why is it like runny that's weird okay so i'm gonna put this between my hand and then run it through the hair smells a bit weird <laughs> Smells a bit weirder than usual. Especially focus it on the ends too, because obviously you need the most moisture there. So the comb that I'm gonna use is by Naomi Chantel. This isn't sponsored, no part of this video is sponsored by anyone, um, but this comb, girl, this comb. If you if you do if you do curls, girl, you gotta get this. So yeah, this is from Naomi Chantel. She has a website, um, she's a hair, stylist hairdresser has her own hair salon in chester if you're in that area i would highly recommend going there i've not been there myself just because i'm broke i also have two of her other brushes i'll show you why not i have this brush which is a boar bristle um like bro i don't really it's like when you put your hair up and stuff. And then I also have the paddle brush. I just can't be bothered to reach it, it's too far. <laughs> so this is the comb. This is actually her second release, like luxe edition um, comb. Usually it was like gold plated. Oh, actually, I, actually, you know what? You can also get her um, brushes and combs on Pretty Little Thing. She's actually now on Pretty Little Thing. So that's amazing. Um, but yeah, so what do I do with this? So I very gently just work, go at the bottom and then work my way up. Now, as you can see, it's not really changing a whole lot, but we'll get there. You just have to trust the process um, and then see, see how much nicer that is. But like you can see already, look at the difference. 
that is so much more like sleek um i don't think i would usually i'd like wait for it to drop down a little bit more than this but have it that's pretty much we had a bit of issues curling up here but that's pretty much like how i would curl my hair now obviously this would drop out throughout the day and look a little bit more natural not as like oh i nearly ended the video without lipstick i always do this all the time and forget my lipstick Okay, so there we have it we've gone from this to this <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know and give this a big thumbs up and subscribe and other than that i hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you in my next video please subscribe we're nearly at 3k um and i will do a giveaway at 3k as well so bye, bye.